Today I'm going to teach you a lesson and the name of the lesson is National Parks of India. This is for class 5 EBS module number 10. What will you learn in this presentation? At the end of this presentation you will be able to number one explain dangers and threats to animals Number two, define extinction of animals. Number three, explain the meaning of endangered animals. Number four, describe the concept of national park and the sanctuary. And lastly, you will be able to identify some of the national parks of India on a map. Before starting my lesson, let me ask you some questions. The first question is, in the last class, we have learned that some animals were killed by hunters and possums. So what you have to do is, you have to name some of the animals killed by them. Do you remember? Yes, you must have remember. Some of the animals are elephants, then uh, tigers, rhinoceros, crocodiles, uh, the snakes, then mux deer. Well, if they are killed then, why do they kill these animals? Because you have learned that some hunters and forces are killing them. Then the, my question is, why do they kill these animals? Yes, they kill these animals to get some parts of them, like tusks for elephants. Then what else? Yes, for that is skin for tiger, snake, crocodile, then horn for rhinoceros, then uh, for this mux of this mux deer. Then if all animals of the same type are killed, then what will happen? If all the animals are killed, for example, tiger, tigers all are killed, then what will happen? then obviously your answer is you would not be able to see them all these tigers will be killed means it will be missing you will not be able to see except the pictures my question is if they are killed then what do you call the protective area kept by government to protect such animals what do you call it Well, today we shall learn about the National Parks of India. Yes, to start with the relation, let us first discuss what are the dangers and threats to animals. What is, I would like to ask you a question. What is that? The tiger is one of the most alert animals. And yet, today, tigers are in danger. What do you think are some of the dangers to tigers in the jungle? Obviously, poaching and illegal hunting are the biggest threats for tigers, which can even cause the extinction of this animal. Besides this, this deforestation is causing tigers to lose their natural home, means habitat, and making their survival very tough. Now my next question is, can human beings also be a threat to animals? If so, how? Yes, human beings can also be a threat to animals. Why? Because human beings kill animals for their body parts. For example, Elephants are killed for their tusks. Rhinoceros for its horn. Tigers, crocodiles and snakes for their skins. Mux deer kills us to make a little sand from its mux, etc. Also, forests are being destroyed to develop industries to make roads, dams and build homes due to which the natural habitat of animals is reduced. That is why we said that human beings are also 
uh, a threat to the animals. Next, let us discuss what is extinction of animals. Extinction of a particular animal or plant species occurs when there are no more individuals of that species alive anywhere in the world. The species has died out. So if all animals are killed, no individual is left out, we call it extinction of that particular animal. This is a natural part of evolution and Sometimes extinctions can happen at a much faster rate than usual. Next, let us try to understand the meaning of endangered animals. And what are these endangered animals? Such animals that is endangered is close to extinction, meaning there are not very many of that type of animal left in the world. And this could happen because there are a few of that animal left. Its predators have grown in number. Predators can be some, uh, some animals more powerful than them or than the human beings. Or the climate that it lives in is changing. Maybe it is very hot, very extreme, or it is very cold. Or the places it lives in have been destroyed. So, if this is the condition, it is a danger to them. That is why we call it endangered animals. Let me tell you some of the examples of endangered animals. Some endangered animals include the sea otter, loggerhead sea turtle, Gian panda blue whale, albatross, and the snow leopard, and some vulnerable animals include the lion, sita, hippo, dingo, polar bear, humpback whale, and the macaroni and the royal penguins. Now let us try to understand the concept of National Park and Sanctuary A national park is a large area of land which is protected by the government because of its natural beauty, plants or animals and which the public can usually visit. Whereas a sanctuary is a place where animals and birds can stay safe. An animal sanctuary is a facility where animals are brought to live and to be protected for the rest of their lives till that they can stay there in the sanctuary. And what is the difference between these two words, national park and the sanctuaries? Wildlife sanctuaries refer to an area which provides protection and favorable living conditions to the wild animals. On the other hand, the national park provides protection to the entire set of the ecosystem that is flora, fauna, landscape, etc. of that region. So this is the difference between the two things. Number one, national park. The other one is what? Sanctuary. Again, let us be very clear with the word protected areas which is used by the government. Yes, the number of tigers and many other animals in a country is reducing. There is a danger that some of them will soon disappear. To protect the animals, our government has met some forest is protected areas. Some of them are the Zim Corvette National Park in Uttarakhand and Ghana in Bharatpur district of Rajasthan. And in these areas, Nobody can hunt animals or destroy the jungle. That is why we call it as a protected area imposed by the government. So we have remember here two national parks. The first one is Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand and the second one is Ghana in Bharatpur district of Rajasthan. 
we have many other also but for the time being you please keep these two national parks in mind about protected areas because this is a part of a relation and questions will, will also come from this uh, relation now let us identify the national parks given on the map so there is a map here you can just uh, stop it for some time and see where are the important national parks of india for example you can see uh, kajiranga which is very near from manipur assam you can see here in the on the map then uh, you can see uh, rathambore uh, in rajasthan then kanha in uh, mp you shouldn't be confused with uh, the jharkhand and the mp of course kanha is in mp at the border near to this jharkhand so when i ask where is kanha you shouldn't be confused it is in mp like that you can find out uh, others also uh, where this uh, national parks are there and along with the uh, states like if i ask you where is this uh, kaziranga your answer should be assam like that for other national parks also you have to find out so when i ask in, in the test you can easily uh, write that this is the state where this national park is situated so do as many as you can identify it as many as you can so let me move to the next well dear children let us now find out where are other such national parks in india this is the question and our answer is number one some of the national parks in there are kanha national park in Madhya Pradesh, which I have mentioned just before, this one. Then, Kaziranga National Park, Assam, Gir National Park, Gujarat, Rathambore National Park, Rajasthan, Nagarhol National Park, Mysore, and uh, Palamu National Park, Jharkhand. So, please remember these national parks. Then, let us move to the next slide. what we have learned we have learned today number one human beings can also be a threat to animals number two extinction of a particular animal or plant species occurs when there are some uh, when there are no more individuals of that species alive anywhere in the world number three an animal that is endangered is close to extinction number four a national park is a last area of land which is protected by the government and last uh, at last a sanctuary is a place where animals and birds can stay safe so these are the points what we have learned today now, as you have learned something well now let me test you test yourself i'll ask you some questions uh, fill in the blanks number one poaching and illegal blank are the biggest threats for tigers what should be your answer yes your answer is hunting next question blank of a tiger occurs when there are no more individuals of that species alive anywhere in the world what should be your answer yes it is extinction of a tiger right let me move to the next question an animal that is playing is close to what is close to extinction what should be your answer yes endangered next jim corbin national park is in the state of what yes uttarakhand last question ghana national park is in bharatpur district of what rajasthan so that's all for today uh, let me give you some home assignment the questions for your home assignment are collect pictures of any five extinct animals and pass it on your notebook number two 
pass the pictures of any five endangered animals of India in your notebook. So the last question uh, is write any two famous national parks of India and collect information on this and write a report. So you do this assignment on your notebook and with this let me thank you very much for watching my video lesson. Thank you once again and the mobile numbers are given here or email if you have any question or query you can contact to this mobile and email IDs. Thank you once again.